Hello students, today we are going to perform one practical and the name of the practical is finding the pH of different solution using pH paper and universal indicator. You can see also here, finding the pH of different solution using pH paper and universal indicator. So, using pH paper and universal indicator, we will check the pH of the following solution and comment on their nature. And the solutions are dilute hydrochloric acid solution, dilute acetic acid solution or ethanoic acid solution, dilute sodium hydroxide solution, dilute sodium carbonate solution and water. So, before going to the practical part, at first we will focus on the theoretical part. What is pH? pH is negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration present in the solution. So, depending on hydrogen ion concentration, we can classify solution into three categories, acidic, basic and neutral. What can you see also in the pH scale? If the pH value is from 0 to less than 7, then the solutions are acidic. If the pH value is more than 7 to 14, then they are basic and if the pH value is 7, then the solution is neutral. Now, we will come to the activity part, check the pH of the following solution and comment on the nature. So, student, come to the activity part. Here you can see different solutions are there. Now, using pH paper, we will check their pH. The first solution is dilute hydrochloric acid, yes, which is also present in the beaker also. Next one, dilute acetic acid it is also present in the beaker. Next one, dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Here also it is as usually present in the beaker. Next one, it is dilute sodium carbonate solution okay? and the last one is water. So, now using pH paper, we will check the pH of the following solution. In my hand, you can see pH paper is present. So, using pH paper, now we will check the pH of the following solutions. <coughs> First one is dilute hydrochloric acid. So, I am dipping the pH paper into the hydrochloric acid solution. Okay. Next, what is present? Acetic acid. So, in the next acetic acid solution, I am dipping the pH paper. Next, sodium hydroxide solution. So, now in the sodium hydroxide solution, I am dipping the pH paper. Next one is sodium carbonate solution. Now, I am dipping the pH paper here also and the last one is water and in water I am dipping the pH paper. Okay. Now, student this is the pH scale. <coughs> what can you see here? At the particular pH, what should be the color? Everything is mentioned in this pH paper. So, now, now one by one, we will collect the pH paper from the solution and ultimately match with the color with which color it is matching with the pH paper. And from that point, we can say it is acidic or basic. Okay. So, at first I am collecting the pH paper from hydrochloric acid solution. Yes. So, now see here, I am matching the color of this one. So, if you see here, what can you see? The color is matching with almost the pH of 3. So, from where I collect it? From hydrochloric acid. So, the pH is below 7, it means it is acidic in nature. Okay. Now, I am collecting the pH paper from acidic acid solution okay, and also I am matching the color with this pH scale. So, what can you see? The pH is almost matching with the pH of 6. So, it is also below 7 it means it is also acidic in nature. Next student, I am collecting the pH paper from sodium hydroxide solution, yes, and now I am matching the color with this pH paper. So, what can you see? This color is almost matching with the pH of 12, yes, that means it is above 7. So, it is basic in nature. Next, I am collecting it from sodium carbonate solution and matching the color of color with pH paper. So, what can you see? Here the pH is almost matching with the pH of 10 or 11 you can see also 10. So, it is also more than 7. So, it is also 
basic in nature. And in water, I am collecting now from water the pH paper and matching with the color with the pH scale. What can you see? It is matching with the pH 7. So, what do you understand? It is neutral in nature. So, from the pH paper, we can identify the pH of the different solution. Similarly, we can identify the pH of the solution using universal indicator also. So, in test in test tube, we will take the solution one by one. So, you can see here what is right? HCl. So, at first I am taking yes you can see this is universal indicator bottle thal indicator bottle you can see yes using this universal indicator we can also check the pH of the solution. So, just I am adding one or two drop and check the color change see student what is the color? Red color. It means red color. Now, you can see the table also student. Please follow the table. When the pH is less than 3, then the color will come red. It means it is a strong acid. You know hydrochloric acid is strong acid. That is why the color is coming red. Next one, what is written here? Acetic acid. So, I in the test tube, Okay. Then adding one or two drop of universal indicator into it. Let us see what will be the color change. Okay. So, what color you are getting? You are getting orange color. So, if it is orange, then what is written in the table? If the value is from 3 to 6, then the color will come orange. It means it is a weak acid. So, what thing you are getting? Means acetic acid is a weak now, I am taking sodium hydroxide, yes, into the test tube. Now, let us check the pH of it. So, I am adding 1 to 2 drop of universal indicator and check the color change. What is the color change? The color become violet, yes. That means, when the solution become violet after adding universal indicator that means it is a strong alkali that means it has pH is more than 11 yes. So, you are getting violet color next one I am collecting sodium carbonate solution from this bottle and adding this universal indicator what is the color let us see the color is blue that means when the color is blue then what you are getting you are getting that means it is a weak alkali and the pH range is from 8 to 11 yes. So, both are above 7 so both are base one is strong base one is weak base last one water. So, now also I am adding indicator, universal indicator, yes. So, see the color change. What is the color? Green. That means, when the color is green, then the pH is 7, it means it is neutral, yes. So, student ultimately what you can get for acetic acid and for hydrochloric acid, pH is below 7 and for sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate, pH is more than 7 and for water you are getting the pH 7. So, from this experiment both in terms of pH paper and universal indicator, what you understand? When the pH is less than 7, then the solutions are acidic solutions and when the pH is more than 7, it is basic solution and when, when it is 7, then it is neutral. So, what about the solution we take for this experiment purpose? What can you see? For hydrochloric acid, 
and for acetic acid pH is less than 7. So, these two are acidic in nature. Similarly, for sodium hydroxide solution as well as for sodium carbonate solution pH is more than 7 means they are basic solution and here for water you can get the pH is 7 it means it is neutral. 